Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I don't think so. Come on, come on, baby. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, get, get in there, get in there. Come on. Get in there, get the fuck in there. We doing this, boys. We doing this. Dude, what is that smell? Shut the fuck up. I'm pre-raiding, pre-dungeon farming, pre-flasking right now. Are those piss jars on the floor? Yeah, I like to call them portable urine canisters. No, but you know what? You're done. You're going no. to the shower right no, now. No, right no, now. Get over here. Lose. Get over here. No. Welcome to World of Warcraft. Classic. Why is World of Warcraft classic? It is a story about two rivaling factions, the Horde and the Alliance, battling over dominance over the planet they live on, Azeroth. Get ganked, wrestle with the endangered wild animals, and get sweet loot that you will never wear, because an item 10 levels lower is superior because it gives you a small edge in combat. Released in 2004 and is still going strong today with hundreds of millions of fans still loving this game since the day it was released. But what is the story? I'm not reading this entire list or watching 2 hour video essays for this. I will give you the quick relevant story you need to know to understand the world of Warcraft. Once upon a time, humans, dwarves and gnomes who were once robots from space were at war with green space aliens called orcs that kept pouring from a dark portal that was created by Gul'dan, a powerful warlock. Forming an alliance together, the three races managed to push back against the invaders, back to their portal, but not all of them managed to escape. The ones that stayed made Ezra their home, and joined up with the other less important tribal races on the planet, such as cow people and trolls, undead that were freed from the mind control of a powerful entity called the Lich King, also joined them because the cow people felt really bad for them. A race of elves, called the Night Elves, saw how cool the three different heights of human male are, decided to join the Alliance. The Alliance only welcomes the superior races into their faction. Strong races. Proud races. The Horde takes every reject they can find. Let's talk about the game now. Let me take you back to the dark times of the year 2004. The internet was still in its infancy. And it was garbage. It took 3 solid hours for a good picture of that one lady you saw on the billboard to load. Now imagine the most ambitious, massive multiplayer game releasing at that time. It doesn't take a nuclear physicist to understand that unless you have good dial-up internet connection and have a voodoo graphics card, you will not be leaving the starting zone. But this, this is not 2004, it's 2021. Now everybody's PC is jacked up and they can finally experience the game. This is World of Warcraft. Just like how I remember it. You can choose to play from 8 different races, 4 in each faction. Humans. They have great racials and all armor sets look good on them. Why do they have mace specialization? Is it that a dwarf thing? Orcs are the arch enemy of the humans, so is a receding hairline. Dwarfs. Drunk 80% of the time, incoherent. Racials suck, but stone form is pretty good. Usually played as healers. Gnomes. Hideous, disgusting creatures. But man, is that racial good. Nigh elves have the best dance moves in the game. And the fact that they are the only alliance race that can be a subpar tank and a subpar healer. They have no other redeeming qualities. Orcs. Rogue's worst nightmare. Because of the stun resist racial. That's disgusting, troll. <laughs> Back problems. Good healers. Don't worry, we have something for the fur people too. Imagine torrents as big and hairy night elves, because this is what they are. They also can be druids and have a war stamp racial that stuns enemies. Why does this have a charge? Undead. What are the benefits of playing as a decomposing bag of bones? Nobody loves you. Will of the Forsaken is great, but is the cast worth it when your character looks like Beeljuice? Did you know Undead could speak the human language in the game? This was changed for obvious reasons. Now that you looked at the many charming races, let's see what classes you can play as. World of Warcraft is a very strange game. 
where there's only one viable class. The rest simply exists to support it. Paladins are great. You want to heal? You can heal. Buff yourself, buff your allies, and look good while doing it. Plus you can do this in Wrath of the Lich King. There is no practical reason to play anything else, but for the sake of the lowlifes out there, druids can transform to many animal forms. Some are useful, some are useless, they mostly heal. Warriors are the best tanks in the game, because they scale with gear very well. Warlocks summon demons to help them with battles. Mages are excellent food dispensers and gold farmers. Rogues are... Uh, fuck rogues. Priests are regarded as the best healers in the game. Unfortunately, they have a dark side. Shamans are paladins, but aren't as cool looking. They channel their power through totems. Hunters command pets to bail with them. The sound of the gun is also really enjoyable. The auction house class lets you manage your items and buy and sell for your main character. Early game you will mostly have simple quests, like gathering and killing different enemies. This might look monotonous, but this is what people consider the best part of the game. Dungeons are the meat and bones of leveling. Here you learn how to work with other players, as a team fighting elite enemies that are far stronger than normal enemies. To get sweet loot, this also okay, this means you will work. sometimes uh, have to deal Are you with in certain some types kind of, a of people. Where you think he lives? It's always a nice sight to see your faction's capital city. Don't go into Goldshire Inn, that place is known to give you STDs. There are some truly gorgeous areas in this game. Blizzard really did an amazing job with the graphics engine. Tired of going everywhere on your feet? Flying Griffin Airlines. If you manage to find the Flight Master, of course, this is a great way to get to places fast. And you get 5 minutes off to do something else while your character flies. On the bottom of the screen there is a handy dandy toolbar. Here you can put all of your spells and different abilities for easier access and use. I remember when I was younger, I did not know about this feature. I used to have the spell book open and physically press each spell and tediously shuffle the pages. I did not get far like this. If you go behind this shack in a Torrent village, you will see this. What did Blizzard mean by this? WoW Classic has a lot of memorable and unique NPCs. Here we see Jeremiah. What's his story? He sells a pet cockroach. This just points out the uncaring nature of the undead society. If the job they offer you the moment you die and come back is cockroach salesman. The alliance leader is a child. His dad is still not back from getting milk. I hope he's okay. Deering Fordring is my favorite World of Warcraft character. He is a paladin. I have a shrine built for him. I will never forgive Blizzard for what they did to him. Do you want an area with controlled PvP and good rewards? Go play Battlegrounds. Alliance loses 9 times out of 10, but at least we don't have to wait 3 hours for queue times. Here is a tip, don't pull 2 enemies at once. You can pick up 2 professions. These professions help you make gold and other items. I highly recommend you go skinning in herbalism while leveling. Skinning because it's a really fast way to get money and herbalism is good for the future. To gather materials and create potions and flasks. Gold is everything in this game. Hello and greetings, I am Bali Rajit Reddy. Today I will show you the most efficient and fast gold farming method in classic World of Warcraft. You must pick the spellcaster occupation and then go to the last jungle of Zulgarab and do this procedure of running around until you have a harem of draws behind you. Then you unleash the power of Parveshtarva upon your enemies. Make sure to go to my website of parjitpi.india.com for the cheapest good prices and fastest delivery time. No money back guarantee. But if Blizzard finds out, Mekali be with you. With gold you can buy the best consumables. The problem is the gold market is completely full of bots. Sometimes they even do this. Very peculiar. One time I had a raid run in Blackwing Lair. My raid's guild leader was screaming into his mic. This woke up his mother, who then proceeds to beat him with what I assume is a flipper. We waited 15 minutes for him to come back, then suddenly the guild was disbanded. 
Welcome to WoW Endgame. At this point you are stagnant and you will most likely be farming gold and doing raids. I actually had a level 60 tank warrior, fully geared from Blackwing Lair. However, because of my stupidity, I deleted him while trying to delete a different character. The hole in the wall is still not fixed. Speaking of raids, I have been invited to one, Zulgrub. On my way I got clobbered by a rogue. Let me show you a cool trick. This is how you can go into the raid safely. Now this is the real World of Warcraft experience. The moral dilemmas about killing these poor defenseless trolls is insignificant. If said trolls in question could drop a rare mount, that is very desirable because having something that only 1% of the server has elevates you into a higher status as a player. Hope you have competent team members. Raiding was always my favorite part of this game. Oh, that's a good ring, I will roll on it. This game's bullshit, I love it. If you are in trade chat, you will see a lot of messages selling dungeon runs for gold. Ah, uh, is this really the world of Warcraft that I remember? Bots, leveling services, autistic number crunching. This game is not the same as I remember it. Hmm? The Burning Crusade? Can't wait to die 50 times to Illidan again, this is great. World well, of Warcraft is something special for me. It's fantastic. It's the kind of game that stays with you even after you stop playing it. You will be annoyed, even angry, but you will remember the good times and the friends you made along the way. Should you play it? Yes. Is it for everybody? No. It's a very time consuming and some people might not like the mechanics and the constant ganking. But if you are patient with it, you will find that it's one of a kind. I am ready to embark my journey into the Burning Crusade. I am not playing as a Blood Elf, I do not care if they are Paladins. Alliance, 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 Alliance,